Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm really excited to share with you a Le Creuset unboxing. Now the items in this box came all the way from a Le Creuset US outlet. So this one came from the St. Augustine, Florida outlet. And uh, at the time they had 50% off the items that are in this box. So I received this box today and I'm really excited because Australia does not stock this item at all. Uh, we do not have any Le Creuset outlets. So you guys in the US are really, really lucky. I'm part of one of the Facebook Le Creuset groups and I saw this item being shown non-stop on the Facebook group and then one of the ladies she put the phone number to the store to the outlet and she goes they were having 50% off so one afternoon I gave them a call I was on the phone for about 25 minutes like she couldn't understand my accent I was trying to explain to her my address <laughs> trying to like spell it out and I used a parcel forwarding company Australia Post has a parcel forwarding company called Shopmate and I've used Shopmate once before when I purchased some Glossier makeup products this is the second time that I've used a shopmate. So shopmate charged 107 Australian dollars which includes like taxes, includes like the service of forwarding this parcel by weight and cubic meter and plus I paid an extra five dollars to insurance on top. So excited. Oh wow. So it's going to be a true unboxing. I haven't opened this. I don't know how it's packaged because I've heard some crazy stories where items from the actual Le Creuset USA online boutique does not bubble wrap or fully protect the item. So a lot of the items come damaged. We've got some green tissue paper. Wow, this is never ending. Okay, I'm just gonna take out the tissue paper. Six hours later. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'll give you a sneak peek of what's inside. So this item here was the very last piece in the outlet. Holy crap. Oh, I got my receipt from the Crusade. Yay. Oh, so it's called the medium heart dish. It's 20 centimeters and it's in this gorgeous. It says satin pink. It will be really cute to make like little tarts or little creme brulee or like even chocolate cake. So I've been loving this heart shape and yeah, Australia doesn't stock this at all. So I got such a great price on this. Okay, so the next six items that I got are the same item, which are in these really cute little boxes. So I got two pink, two white and two red. So I'll open up the red one first. I'm so excited. So revealing to you. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is really, really cute. So I have got these really cute Le Creuset heart mugs. Oh, how adorable. Cute, so it's the Le Creuset heart mug. This is in the color Therese. It says Le Creuset there on the side and on the bottom, Le Creuset heart mug and tray. You can see that it, um, it's not finished properly on the the sides there. Well, probably why it's at the outlet. It comes with this really cute little heart dish as well. well since I'm making like a phone order and I'm going to be paying quite a bit in shipping in a way, I just thought I'd just get the three colors pink, white, and red. It says Le Creuset there. So this one's called Satin Pink. I have the matching French press in the color Hibiscus Chiffon Pink, and that one I got from Selfridges. And then this one here is the white one. So my first impressions of these is that they are really good quality. They're a really decent size, a nice size for coffee or a hot chocolate because of how thick it is. It will definitely keep your coffee or your hot chocolate or your tea much hotter for longer. And I really adore and love the shape of these. My favorite piece would definitely have to be the red hot mug and saucer. You can use this one as a little biscuit dish. And definitely want to get another French press in the red to match with this. So it's more like a right-handed coffee hot chocolate mug other than like the left hand because yeah, you can't really, unless you go that way, it's like, I saved 63 US dollars on this. Each piece worked out to be nine US dollars and then tax on top and then $9.99 US dollars shipping to my parcel forwarding a US address. And then I paid 112 Australian dollars on top. So all up, that works out to be about 32 Australian dollars each, which is not bad. Looking at it, yeah, it's quite expensive for like one cup and saucer, but it's really hard to get in Australia and these are like nearly four times the price, the ones that you see on eBay. So I started collecting Le Creuset via Selfridges in December last year. I bought myself like a whole collection for Christmas. Then the most hardest thing with Le Creuset, especially starting out, is 
what colour do I go for? At the start, I bought an array of colours such as Marcel Blue, Cherise Red, Flame, Chiffon Pink Hibiscus, also Marble White. And then in the end, I ended up keeping and swapping out for Cherise Red because I felt like that was much more classic. When I just started curating my red collection, the Cherise collection, and I just fell in love. And every single time I used them, it just ignited a passion inside me. Cooking was such a joy. It took a lot of getting used to like the heat temperatures, but the flavor that comes out, it's so satisfying, you guys. It's like a feeling like no other. And I've been addicted and obsessed since. <laughs> and yeah, for me to do a phone order over the phone with these pieces um, says a lot. I'm obsessed. Yeah, it's really hard to get these pieces in Australia. And I'm really excited to actually have these and add these to my collection. But one of the reasons why I didn't really go for trees in the first place was the gradient. I just felt like some pieces were really dark and I didn't like that. But then I warmed up to it, especially getting my very first ever Therese piece, which was the 7.25 quart Dutch oven. Just the way that they spray painted that particular piece, the color is just beautiful. Since getting that and using it right away, I, would, I just fell in love. And then I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm gonna swap everything that I have out for Therese Red. Therese is most classic. And I know it's a color that they'll always have and it won't be discontinued. Uh, yeah, so I've only been collecting for a few months, but the pieces that I have, I've been absolutely loving. I love the black enamel interior and also the sand interior for cooking. I absolutely love all my pieces. And yeah, one day I will share with you my Le Creuset collection. If you guys wanna see that, please do let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. Please check out until next time. I will see you in my next video.